going to get a place to tutorials. So let's look on other ways you can home map HDR. We'll look on some images when you're creating with backgrounds. But for example, if you're just a photographer and uh, you bought these tutorials and you get a pack with uh, 20 beautiful HDR backdrops, you want to convert them. So let's look how you can do this. And you can don't need necessarily have it for the Maddox Pro, what are we using in other ones? You can do simply from Photoshop. Just take one of them. For example, I'm using Subway HDR image. Drop in. Right here you can see it's a little bit too overblow with some DT uh, lighting. The reason is why, because if we look on mode, it's 32 bit. What we want to do is convert to 16 bit. You can do same way by doing HDR processing. For example, in adjustment, and we'll go right here, HDR toning. But the easiest way to do F1 is if you're going and just select 16 bit channel. This is by automatic, you will switch to HDR toning. Okay, so let's select the problem. One thing, what do you want a radio? Keep it one or two pixels. I like a little bit sharper. So let's say two pixels will increase our string a little bit up. So we'll give it better details. Okay, next gamma, and you'll notice if we're going down, it will increase some highlights areas, or we can kind of even out. Let's take a little bit, maybe about closer to this, and adjust exposure down. So right here with gamma, you can notice now a little bit better when we work, so we kind of even out. Okay, let's increase details, and again, because our radius is two pixels, Think about these details more like you're doing with uh, sharpening by using overlay and high pass. So in some cases what we do, if we increase higher and maybe if we put it like one pixel, so you have it more defined, sharper details. And probably around these settings with one pixel or a little bit lower with two pixels will work. As well, we can increase shadows. So let's right here and you can see right on the back of this area you can see we can bring shadows up and down as well increase or decrease highlights so in this case I want to create a little bit more contrast so I will bring up and we'll pop up vibrance and saturations here okay as well on a curve let's add a little bit more contrast to our scenery Pump. and if we have it overblow lightings then we can a little bit maybe control with the gamma's adjustments and here we go now we have it our click OK and this we have a 16-bit image that is ready to process the nice things about HDR you can go back if you don't like these proceedings and modify base it on some other different type image so let's look on some different variations as example and for example, we'll go grab and maybe create some of this old room too. So same things right here. We can go to image mode, switch to 16 pixels. If you save your preset, you can modify it or you can actually use it different like exposure, highlights, or in this case, local adaptation. Again, we'll use it one, pop up string, refine images, take a gamma a little bit down, exposure, we can bring details sharpness a little bit maybe too much on this one pop up shadows as well highlight and you can see how in some cases you can adjust slightly a little bit more interesting in green g again with the levels on this case if you want just bring darker and kind of green g so we can go a little bit more with this kind of look again this was very fast to update and there you go we have it another one okay so and one more again if we look let's look for example on a ballroom this is very nice and right here with the vibrance we actually want to bring more details for example walls look a little bit too bling so we'll go to mode 16 bit adjustment okay well again probably one or two radius and I found this is best again work for this type of the settings. Okay, we'll take exposure slightly down, bring gamma. Okay, maybe 
in this case maybe we actually need to pop up a little bit exposure up okay let's readjust shadowing also I don't want over blow highlights it's what I'm looking vibrance saturation so we have the nice colors a bit more gold ones okay, so we bring a little bit more dimension with our lighting and you notice in some cases I may bring contrast way high it's again it depends what I'm going for but right here with this we have it now detail start appearing kind of nicely okay we can also a little bit on a gamma let's look on exposure so in this case we want to go a little bit up we can also try to pop up a little bit higher on effect but it's again it's probably about two or three which is a two or one which is work very well in this case okay let's look again on the shadows okay because we don't want to have it too dark in this case and there you go so we have it now kind of creating our ballroom of course so after tone mapping you can modify additional um, options maybe brightening some other option but overall here is how you can work and modify with tone mapping inside the Photoshop so it's easy work with HDR and just readjustment closer to what you're going after in your images thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio please remember to visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com